Morning guys, what's up? Jasper's here and welcome back to the vlog. Um something something feels this this mm, this kind of feels a bit small, right? I think I know what we're supposed to do. Do this and then we go here. Whoa! 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 Yes! Nice! Now that looks way better. Today, Instagram dropped its YouTube competitor, IGTV, which is basically uh, exactly what Instagram stories are, but in a long format for vertical videos. To be honest, I'm not very sure how I feel about it yet, but only time will tell whether this is a good move on their part or not. For now, I'm happily embracing this madness, this insane idea of filming using a professional camera vertically. It's 2018! It's 2018, oh no! 2018 seems to be a year of insanity. In other news, you know the store that we have on the new deck order? That website where you can buy Broken Border playing cards, School of Cardistry B1 playing cards, the Jasper's deck GDCM edition, and the Jasper's deck Favorite Day edition. You know that website? Yeah, we're, we're closing it. In a week's time. A new Jasper's? No! No, are you quitting Cardi 3 Jaspers? Why has everyone been asking me that same question? No, I'm not quitting Cardi 3. No, there is no world in which I quit Cardi 3. Let me explain to you why we're closing the NDO physical product store for the time being. In these few months that are leading up to Cardi 3 Con Hong Kong, there are quite a few events that I need to go to and quite a few countries that I need to visit in this time frame. So it makes it kind of illogical for us to keep the physical products of the store open. That would mean like getting somebody to come down, pack the stuff, ship it out or bring it to a postal office and send it out. It makes no sense. As such, Loretta and I had a conversation and we decided to close the physical store. However, we understand that some of you guys may be waiting for the next deck to come out to buy a few of these decks. So we're letting you know in advance that if you want to get any of these four decks that I mentioned just now, you can get them right now before we close the store. And don't worry, we're not gonna pretend it's sold out and sell it for a higher price in the future. Instead, when the next deck is launched, we will bring back these cards, the cards that are still available and that we still have stock of, and then you can get it at the same price. Don't worry, it's fair. No problem, man. Alright, I'm actually really excited to do an unboxing today because even though unboxings are generally the same pattern and the same formula, because today we have this vertical setup, this uh, portrait setup for the camera, um, it makes it a little bit harder, it makes it a little bit different compared to our usual setup for unboxing and reviewing cards. So let's get down to opening this new package. This package is sent to me via the Australian Post and it's from the Cardis. Ethan King. Shout out to Ethan King. Alright, let's check this out. Oh, 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 oh. I, I definitely can rip this open the normal way, but, but since today we have space vertically like this. So let's check out what's in the package. First things up, we have boom, boom, one deck of playing cards over here and a handwritten letter from Ethan himself. Hey Jaspers, here is a prototype deck of Project Shuffle. These are printed by Carter Mundy on their True Linen B9 finish and will almost certainly reflect how they will handle once produced. Very nice. I always appreciate when people send their prototypes that are not printed by MPC and are printed by, you know, the company that is closest to what they intend to print with. Open parenthesis if they are funded. Close parenthesis. Anyway, enjoy the cards. Can't wait to see what you use them for. Smiley face. He ends off with PS. Please do not show these to others until after I review the full design on at Project Shuffle. Is it out yet? I gotta go check whether he has reviewed it. Okay, 
Okay, yes! Awesome! Awesome! The deck has been revealed already. So we can review we can review the review deck because it has been reviewed. So let's get down to the review. Let's go! Take off the bubble wrap. Ooh. Let's retake that one more time. There we go, much better. Here we have one of the project shuffle playing cards prototypes. You can see the box design right here. Very interesting. Very geometric in nature. Remember yesterday's video? I did mention that Cardis love themselves some geometric designs. Here's what the box looks like. There seems to be a grid-like pattern that has been selectively colored in and not colored in to create these interesting formations. And on the box it says Project Shuffle. There are also certain specific parts that have this blue to pink gradient instead of the normal gray lines. Pretty cool. At the top left hand corner over here, it says that Project Shuffle... Wait, what? It's Project Sato? Have I been this? Whoa, whoa, what? Mind blown! I only just realized the deck is called Project Sato, but their Instagram account is Project Shuffle. I, I don't get why, but... <laughs> Mind blown! Over here, it's Project Sato, run of 10 decks of playing cards only, uh, distributed by Project Shuffle, designed by Ethan King himself. Project commenced on January 2017, artwork submitted March 2018, Katamandi playing cards through linen B9 finish, 52 plus 4 playing cards. And at the top, it also says Project Sato, I just realised. On the bottom of the box, this is what it looks like. Cool. On the side, on the top, on the other side. Pretty cool. Let's get into the deck. So while the box itself doesn't have cellophane on it because it is a prototype deck of playing cards, the deck itself does have. I guess this is gonna be Katamandi's standard treatment of prototype playing cards. No cellophane on the box, cellophane on the deck itself. These cards are thicker than I expected. Right out of the box, this deck is about as thick as a normal USPCC deck of playing cards. See the thickness is almost exactly the same. But I am pretty sure that this is not because True Linen B9 is a thick finish or a thick stock. It's more likely because this is a prototype deck of playing cards and the cards don't go through every single process. A normal True Linen B9 deck of playing cards wouldn't go through. So let's first take a look at what the bags look like. This is what the bags look like. Ooh. Ooh, I just realized, because the video is vertical and you're probably watching this on the phone, if you hold your phone in dealer's grip, this is probably what the cards will look like in your hands. That's cool, I like it. In a way, I guess in the future, every time I want to show you guys what the deck of cards will look like in your hands, I can just basically put the deck like right here. Assuming the video is a vertical video, just put it like right here and you can pretend you're holding the deck. Stop sidetracking, Jaspers. Uh, if you look over here, it has the normal outer border of a deck of playing cards, and then there is a second border inside, which is quite common for um, classically designed decks of playing cards, but in the case of the Project Sato playing cards, it's blue to pink to blue to pink. Before we look at the normal faces, let's take a look at the two ad cards and the two jokers. An ad card for Ed Ethan King at Project Shuffle. The same details that are available on the box. He teaches you how to do a move called Pandido. Alright, so now let's take a quick look at the faces of the cards. So this is what Ace of Spades looks like. Short line here, short line here, short line here, short line here. Um, Ace of Spades in grey. The card just looks very spacious and very open looking even though there's a lot of details on it. Also, the index is surprisingly large for a deck of playing cards. Two of spades, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, custom placements. All right, and then the jack. Hmm, queen, hmm, king, hmm. I actually like this blue to pink line that's over here and here. Ace of Diamonds. Um, so there's no differentiation between the red cards and black cards in terms of colour it seems. This is what the club pips look like and finally these are what the heart pips look like. Now the back design is moderately interesting looking but as a cardist my main interest in this deck of playing cards 
is this specific line right here and right here because these lines over here and here are so near the edge on the faces of the cards I wonder what kind of effect it would have on say a fan so let's check it out Ooh, that's actually pretty cool hmm that's pretty cool as well whoa whoa uh, I need to be taller to do this oh gosh let's check it out in a reverse fan Ooh. In the top right hand and the bottom left hand corner of the deck, uh, Ethan King has designed this small in this. And because of that, in a, re in a reverse fan like this, it kind of looks like a school of cardistry or cardistry touch deck of playing cards. Alright, enough talking about the cards. Let's take a look at how the cards look like in movement. Let's go. Alright guys, so that's all for today's vlog. Thank you guys very much for watching. Let me know what you think about this vertical format. Are you watching this video on mobile or on desktop? If you're watching it on desktop, how was the experience? Was it bad? I, I, I'm really very curious. Was it a very bad experience? Was it very uncomfortable to watch it like this? Or was it an okay experience? If you're watching it on mobile, is this a much more immersive experience? Or does the normal landscape style shooting still work on mobile even though we are in the year of craziness 2018. Thank you guys very much for watching. I'm Jaspers. Do check out at project.shuffle on Instagram and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye bye.